I'm starting to do the modification, the rebuild, the insane stupid thing on the M365 and these are the batteries I'm going to be using which is the very popular Samsung 25Rs. I paid £1.89 for these plus VAT each obviously. Uh, And I've got a hundred of them. Now I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use them all. I did it as a precaution because I'm on furlough and I've got loads of things that I want to get done. Uh, the first thing I want to get done is the M365. Oh, that's all there is on the list. <laughs> but there's loads of things I want to get done to it. So I'm going to be using these. I'm going to make my own battery pack as, as I usually do. I'll be going through all the steps, all the processes and everything else. The other thing I've got, I've got some 10 inch tyres. Don't know if they're any good, don't even know what they are. Uh, I hope these are going to survive the speed. Anyway, I've got, there's actually nothing on them to say what they made, who makes them. Oh. Is it Wanda WD? I presume it is. P1237-12. Don't know if they're any good, but we'll see. They are bloody thick, I know that. I've already got the inner tubes, but you can actually use 10 inch inner tubes on 12 inch tyres, it's not a problem. So, I am going to be building this. The BMS is somewhere underneath, uh, which I'm going to be fitting. The controller hasn't turned up yet, but I might try and get away with it using a Sabvaton 72150 don't know yet because that's fully configurable and controllable and it will work but I still don't know so I'm gonna get the M365 strip it down to its bare naked essentials literally it's just gonna be the frame because that's all I possibly need for the time being then I'm gonna to have to rebuild around it make the battery for it try and fit all the electronics just make it as small as possible so as I can make everything fit and looking at these That'll fit. So I might be able to use all 100 cells, which is going to be 20s, 5p. <laughs> no, no, the motor won't take it. I know that. Um, I've seen people pumping 1.8 kilowatts through it for about three or four seconds, which is all you need for acceleration. Uh, obviously, prolonged power like that is going to burn it out massively your, your phase wires are going to get incredibly hot everything's going to get incredibly hot incredibly quick so I've got to see if I can make precaution against that so here we go just got the motor out I want to show you how easy it is to get these tyres off Chloe's laughing at me in the background on this bit here turn it over the other way Push that in so as that goes into the bead. Get a tire lever. <laughs> lever it. Screwdriver. Lever it. Screwdriver. I haven't pinched the inner tube at all every time I've done this. push it over, you make sure the tube isn't actually pinched on the inside in there, which it isn't, you get your screwdriver, you put it over there, and then you get another one, Ferrofluid. fluid. 
Mother f <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm doing a bit of a tutorial on how to take the tyres off because everyone has trouble and I haven't had any troubles. But I seem to have shredded the inner tube now. What's that mean? That means you've that... just broke it? Yes. Can you fix it? No. Oh dear. Is it because you're using screwdrivers? <laughs> and not the proper resources needed? I haven't got the proper resources needed. You might need Does to that come off? get the proper resources no, needed. No, I don't need them. You don't need them? No. Well, you've just broke that tyre, so I think you do need them. I've broken the tyre. Well, whatever you've broken. I've got a spare tube anyway. And you'll probably break that one too. I don't even know if this comes <laughs> off. Does it come <laughs> off? So you've broke it and you don't even know if it comes off? If this comes off, it would make it a lot easier. Oh, it does. So you've broke it for no reason? Yes, yes. It's not broken much. I've got another one. These are the small ones. It's got a hole in it now. Yes, when you're out on your scooter, scooting, it'll just phew, no, gone. No, because I've got another one. Oh, uh, you knew you were going to break it, so you got backups. Yeah. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> Why are them all round? They will flatten out like that. They're very straight. Oh. Just like they're, they're like that when you buy them. It's not shit though. It, is shit. it isn't shit. It's ferrofluid. It's ferrofluid! You can see on here the ferrofluid hasn't actually moved any. Uh, there's not enough of it in there because it's only bridging the magnets. I need it to actually circulate a bit. And yeah, oh, I'm not going to do that yet. Anyway, I'll fix this. Needs a bit of talcum powder on it, good as new. I've actually inflated this up to 15 psi <laughs> out of the tube, of it, out of the tyre, and it's fine. So I fixed it with my extension piece, which is here, this bit of plastic. I can get these four high. So I'm going to work out exactly how many I can get in. Now, for anyone thinking, I put a subverton in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it don't fit. <laughs> so I've got to wait for the speed controller to come. Uh, I, I, I thought that might have been a bit overkill, but hey ho. And I haven't got another one. I don't think I've got anything else at all. Anyway, I'm going to start working on the battery. Um, where? Hang on. This is the BMS which is going to fit somewhere in there I don't know yet that's going to go there, the battery is going to go here I didn't think I'd get all these in but I have uh, this is going to be 14S and then 6P so I'm going to have 14 times 4.2 58.8 volts right now the speed controller will do 50 amps constant so you multiply that by 50, that's 2.9 kilowatts, <laughs> which I ain't going to be using that. It's going to be limited to about, I don't know, I'm going to start ramping it up, see what the temperature goes like. Uh, I never honestly thought I'd get all these in here, but it's going to fit easily, easily. No, it isn't, because I've put that too high. Shit. Change of plan. It's going to be 14S, 14S 4P, and so that will give me uh, the same voltage, but it's only going only going to be uh, 10 ampere hours. Although the usable will probably be around about eight. I don't use this for commuting, so I don't really need the distance on it. I only go out for fun, and I never do that amount of mileage anyway. So, is that going to be enough? Is it going to be enough? It's going to be 50 amps. That's all. Yes, that's it. 14S, 4P. Call it overkill. Call it what you want. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to be using all the power. I'm going to be using about a maximum of 50 amps. So this isn't going to get. It's not going to get even warm. 
but it limits the amount of foot space obviously but that fits there perfectly and I really do want to do it because these have got so much configuration in them with the variable regen and everything else combined with the BMS and everything it's going to be basically an e-bike I really want to do it <laughs> Batteries assembled so it's a 16S a 4P uh, it's going to go in there like that obviously I've still got all the spot welding and everything else to do the BMS is going to go in there plenty of room for other things purely because I'm putting the subverton on top I think but I don't know where I might not have even mentioned that I'm using the subverton <laughs> this is an SVMC 72150 which has been unlocked so it's basically unlimited power it will do 99 volts around about 250 amps which I'm not going to need it's going to be power in this so this has got a potential because of the battery limitation it's going to have a potential of around about 60 or maybe 70 amps that will give it around about 5 kilowatt and I know damn well the motor ain't going to handle it so it's going to be limited to around about 2 the next thing I'm going to do is spot weld all this together now this is held together with VHB tape which I showed you last time which is this stuff that you can't get anymore I don't think you can anyway I've done the parallel I haven't done the parallel f***ing dickhead I've done all the parallel <sighs> they're not parallel links Tony you dickhead they're the series links there is a difference parallel is parallel series is series look there's the series links parallel links are completely different I've done all the series links as you can see if you don't know how to um, wire these, not wire them up, if you don't know how to spot weld them then I've done a few videos uh, basically what I do is I always do the series links first and then you can check between there and there to see what voltage of the cells that, that row of cells are and then you can put your parallel ones on it's just in case it's, 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 a, it's just a precaution Call me over cautious, I don't know. Anyway, at the end of it, that's going to be the positive and that's going to be the negative. Now, when I do the parallel links on these, obviously I'm still using this size, so I'll put one link on there, one link on there, one link on there, and then I'll take the power lines off the centre between the two so I can spread the load rather than just taking a tap off the middle like usual people do. Um, it, it just spreads the load out, that's all. So I've got to do, all of these have all got to be paralleled up, every single one. So it's going to take a while. I'm doing a video, I ain't talking to you. I'm sorry. No, just in case. Because oh. I know what you're bloody like. What is he talking about? Anyway, when you're building a battery, uh, the biggest killer to me is complacency. Is that a word? Is complacency a word? Complacent. Yes. Take two. When you're building a battery, to me, it ain't the voltage. I mean, that... that I can, I can just about feel that. That ain't the... Oh, f I don't know. Mom! <laughs> when you're building a battery, it's not, to me, it's not the voltage that's the problem. I mean, I, I can, if I get the positive and negative terminals on there, you know, I can just about feel that, although it's 60 something volts. But the biggest problem to me is complacency. Now, as you can see, this is rather intricate. If I was to get, well, say this is a piece of nickel, now these last pieces, I've got to put the nickel strip across there like that. But if I was getting, if I got complacent, and I put them across there, that would end in a whole lot of trouble. Sorry, I got that wrong. <laughs> if you put it across there, nothing will happen. <laughs> if you put it across there, that's when bad things happen. Not across there. 
because all this, I mean, you could put nickel strips straight across this all the way. It's across that part where you're actually bridging uh, those two banks of cells. So you've got to be careful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Batteries go in there. Where else would I put it? The BMS. It's got to go there, but I don't know. I've got to put the switch on. That's the temporary switch. I've got to put that somewhere. The Bluetooth module's got to be sticking out somewhere because this is obviously aluminium casing and the signal's going to be shielded. Not bad, but it's still going to be shielded. So. 